My name is Israel McFarland. Israel I... is an unusual name. My parents were very, uh, they like to name us all uh, names from the Bible, so. And was it very strict? Yeah, very strict. My parents, they, they did not like secular music. She'll still uh, comment if she hears a cuss word in my songs, but I'm like, you know, <gasps> cussing actually is one of the few things in life I enjoy, so I just, you know, I can't, yes. I can't stop, you know. <laughs> Let me give you a little piece of advice. Okay. Write a song called I Kissed a Boy and I Liked It. <laughs> yeah. And let them hear it for the first time on their own on the radio. Wow. All right, Israel. Okay. What Satan music are you going to share with us today? Um, it's a song called The Cost. Um, the song is actually kind of about, you know, I want to chase my goals, but that just sort of invariably brings me away from my close friends. And I don't know, man, like life is so f short. So this okay, song is Israel. Like, I'm sorry. I'm no, gonna, see, I enjoy it. He's, I he's in a flow. I, that's right. So, you know. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and not f it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 20 years we got here. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> 21. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm mentally exhausted. The physical cost is showing across the back of my eyes. I'd like to drop this, go home and talk with the people that mean most in my life. But I cannot stop this feeling that I'll miss out on something that I wanted to find. But lately, my thought is. Will I be shocked when I come to realize I've lost track of the time? I don't know exactly why, but I think this became something that I do so that I don't have to face this. Have I lost sight? Am I losing my way? Don't know why you asked twice when I said I'm okay. I'm holding on tight so I don't lose my place. And maybe my drive has become my escape. The costumes. And maybe that's what the cost is. Israel, the song had a lot of cool things about it. Seems like you're really locked into some emotional stuff, and I don't think you could really morph into an incredible songwriter. I just didn't hear vocally something that would stack up all together with singers on American Idol. I know, that's my weak point. I'm in love with you. What makes a songwriter is rebellion, and what you just saw was a classic explosion of artistry. That Thank was you. your expression of how you interpret you. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're on the right road, okay? Israel, I think you're a really good songwriter, but there's still some vocal stuff to do. Yeah. I think it's a little in here, yeah. you know? And you should bring it more forward. Yeah. I think the best vocal lesson he could ever have, throw him here. Beat him up with all this secular stuff. Uh, if, if you give me that chance, man, I promise I'll work as hard as, as, hard as anybody. Yeah. My vote is absolutely 100%. I would put you in, yes. Oh, Israel, I know your story. I lived your story in a lot of ways. But it's just not there yet. It's a no for me. Yeah, it's a not yet for me, too. It's OK. Keep working, buddy. That's all right. I just had to let you hear my passion. You have something to sell. It's just. Takes a moment, okay? Hearing Lionel say those things about my songwriting is something that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Now, what I want you to do now is go do the work and come back to us. More important than even getting on a show is just hope and the courage to keep going. 